Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I want to show how to modeling pencil in Cinema 4D. Let's get started. So first step, go to here and let's create new cylinder. And select this rotate tool. Let's chain rotation like this and select cylinder again. Change rotating segments 6. And let's change scale like this. I'll change again okay click move tool then let's move to up and go to again here let's hold this icon and let's create new cone and move to left and chain rotation again like this click move tool and move to left let's change scale okay and move to up Okay, let's click this icon, go to right preview and let's move to right inside to cylinder. Okay, nice. So in this time, let's back to perspective and again create new cube. Go to here and create new cube. Move to left and move to up. Let's back to again right view. Let's move to here. Okay, and let's back to perspective and go to here, hold this icon, let's select this bule, select this cube and cone, move to inside the bule, then go to here, hold this icon again and let's again create bule and select this bule and slender, let's move to inside next bule, okay. And select the cylinder. Let's move to up like this. Okay, nice. Let's open Boule and select this cube. Let's move to here. And move to right like this. Then select this cone. Let's move to right. Let's move to left. Okay. And change scale. Okay, select this cylinder. Let's move to left like this. Okay, select this cone and let's change. Let's go to first step display and enable shading lines and change rotating segments. Okay, not bad. So, select this cone and let's select this scale tool. Let's scale like this. Click move tool and select this cylinder. Let's move to left. Okay, not bad. Select this cube. Let's move to left like this. Okay, nice. So go to here and select grading shade. So we have problem with this cylinder. Let's select this cone and click scale tool let's change scale okay nice again select the cylinder and change scale okay fine so let's change gradient shading lines and select this cone let's click this icon for make editable and select this edge right mouse let's select this loop pet cut and let's add one cut here okay and click this icon and move tool go to select and click this loop selection let's select loop selection and click move tool right mouse and extrude let's extrude like this Okay, nice. Click move tool and go to click again this icon and go to select and loop selection again. Let's select this part and go to click this icon for open material. Let's create new material and change color black. And let's use for this part. Okay. 
and select this part okay and let's create new material again change color like this and let's use for this part okay nice so let's click this icon for go to model version and let's create new material click this icon and change color blue and let's use this color for this part okay again go to create new material and change color yellow like this and select this cone again select this icon and let's go to select loop selection select this part hold shift select this part and let's select material let's use for this parts okay select move tool and click this icon for go to model version okay nice let's go to display and select grading shading okay nice so in this time let's go to here hold this icon and let's create new cylinder move to right and select cylinder let's change rotated segments like this let's change 45 and go to display click gradient shading and change scale like this let's select this rotation tool select this red hold shift chain rotation okay and click this icon let's go to here right view and click move tool let's move to left and up okay let's click scale tool change scale change scale like this and in this time let's select the cylinder and click this icon for again make editable and select edge tool let's let's double click here and double click hold shift and double click again here then right mouse and bevel let's bevel like this and go to here chain subdivisions for smooth and click move tool and click this icon for go to model okay let's create again new material and change color pink okay let's use for this object so in this time let's select this cylinder move to right and go to objects let's create new cylinder move to right chain rotation again and move to up let's click this icon go to right wheel and let's see let's click scale tool and let's change scale like this okay change scale like this okay and move to right then let's select this cylinder and select these rotating segments let's change and these high segments okay nice and click this icon for make editable go to click this icon and go to select select click loop selection let's select this and hold shift select this and this okay right mouse and extrude let's extrude inside okay not bad then click move tool and select this icon let's double click this line for select all lines 
and also again hold shift double click this line for select these parts let's right mouse and select bevel let's bevel like this change subdivisions like this for smooth okay nice and in this time let's double click these lines and these lines this and this lines also these lines and these lines let's make again someone right mouse and bevel let's change bevel like this okay not bad click move tool and click this icon for go to model okay go to display click gradient shading okay nice so select this object let's move to here and click scale tool let's change scale okay not bad move to inside and go to material let's create new material and change color red let's use for this object okay not bad you can use subdivision surface for smooth object go to here let's select subdivision surface and select cylinder one move to inside subdivision surface okay not bad so let's select all layers let's right mouse and click group objects or alt g change name pencil and let's change rotation like this move to up okay not bad so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck